right, so we want to talk about how to solve for eigenvalue and uh, eigenvectors. Okay, so first notice if AV equals to lambda times V, lambda times V is technically lambda times the identity matrix times V. So moving terms around, we get AV minus lambda IV equal to zero. And factor out V, we get A minus lambda I times V equal to zero. And I forgot to mention in the previous video that eigenvectors cannot be zero, so this is a non-zero vector. Otherwise, the zero vector is automatically eigenvector. So because this uh, equation has a non-zero solution, which this means the matrix before that is singular, which means the determinant of this matrix is equal to zero. So the process to solve eigenvectors and eigenvalues is that first solve the equation for lambda, the determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero. So we get a bunch of eigenvalues, lambda. And for each eigenvalue, we solve the linear equation a minus lambda i times v equal to zero. And we get the an associated eigenvector. All right, so let's do an example with the two by two matrix. So suppose A is five, seven, negative two, negative four. So first step is to solve the determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero. A minus lambda i is five minus lambda, negative four minus lambda, and seven negative two. And this is equivalent to five minus lambda times negative four minus lambda minus seven times negative two equal to zero. This gives you negative 20 plus four lambda minus five lambda plus lambda square plus 14 equal to zero. So lambda square minus lambda minus six equal to zero. These factors, so we get lambda minus three, lambda plus two equal to zero. So we have two eigenvalues, three and negative two. So that's step one. For each eigenvalue, we need to find an associated eigenvector. So let's do it for each lambda. So for the eigenvalue 3, let's solve. Let's first find out what a minus lambda i is. So a minus 3i is equal to 5 minus 3, 7, negative 2, negative 4 minus 3, which is equal to 2, 7, negative 2, negative 7. So we want to solve this. linear equation. Uh, so this is not hard to solve. One solution is 7, negative 2 is the solution. Is, so this is an associated eigenvector. All right, so we'll do the same thing for lambda equal to negative 2. So for lambda equal to negative 2, a minus lambda i, a minus lambda i, is a plus 2i, which is 5 plus 2, 7, negative 2, negative 4 plus 2. So it's 7, 7, negative 2, negative 2. And we solve this equation. It's not hard to solve either. So v, let's say 1, negative 1, is an associated eigenvector. So in summary, we have two eigenvalues, 3 and negative 2. And the eigenvalue 3 corresponding corresponds to an eigenvector, 7, negative 2. And the eigenvalue negative 2 corresponds to an eigenvector, 1, negative 1. All right, so let's do a different example. So let's consider A equals to diagonal matrix with diagonal entries being both 2s. So the same thing, the first step is to solve the determinant of a minus lambda i equal to zero, which means the determinant of two minus lambda 
2 minus lambda equal to 0, which means 2 minus lambda squared minus 0 is equal to 0. So 2 minus lambda squared is 0. So we have a, mul we have a solution 2 with multiplicity 2. So this is the only eigenvalue. Now, let's solve. So before we solve the equation, let's first figure out what a minus lambda i for lambda equal to 2. This is equal to a minus 2i, which is 2 minus 2, 0, 0, 2 minus 2, which is a bunch of zeros. So if we want to solve this linear system of equations with all zeros, then we know every vector is a solution because left hand side and right hand side are both automatically zero. So every vector in R2 is a solution. That means every vector in R2 is an associated eigenvector. But that's too many solutions. So instead of writing all the solutions, we pick a basis for all the solutions. So the basis for R2 is 1, 0, and 0, 1. So this is a basis for associated eigenvector. So in this case, we have one eigenvalue that corresponds to two eigenvectors. All right, so let's do a different example. So let's uh, suppose A equals to 2, 3, 0, 2. So we want to solve, again, we want to solve the determinant of A minus lambda i equal to 0. So it means the determinant of 2 minus lambda, 3, 0, 2 minus lambda equal to 0. Notice that this equation is the same thing. So we get 2 minus lambda square minus 3 times 0 equal to 0. So 2 minus lambda square is equal to 0. So there's only one eigenvalue, lambda equal to 2. OK. So for this eigenvalue, lambda equal to 2, we need to first figure out what a minus lambda i is. So this is a minus 2i, which is 2 minus 2, 3, 0, 2 minus 2. So it's 0, 3, 0, 0. So we want to solve the system of linear equations, 0, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. It's got one free variable, so it's dimension is 1. So the solution, a solution is 1, 0, is an associated eigenvector. So in this case, we have one eigenvalue corresponding to one eigenvector. All right, let's do a, another example of two by two matrix. So let's consider A equals to zero, negative four, one, zero. So same thing. The first step is to solve the determinant of A minus lambda I equal to zero. That means the determinant of minus lambda, negative four, one, negative lambda, equal to zero. So that means we're solving lambda square minus negative four times one equal to zero. So lambda square is negative four. So lambda is not a real number. Lambda is plus minus square root of negative four, which is plus minus two i. This is a complex number. Okay. But the procedure for complex numbers are exactly the same. For each eigenvalue, we solve corresponding eigenvectors. So for lambda equal to 2i, a minus lambda i is 0 minus 2i, negative 4, 1, 0 minus 2i is negative 2i, negative 4, 1, negative 2i. So we solve the system of linear equations, negative 2i, negative 4, 1, negative 2i, 0 on the right hand side, we get an eigenvector, which are 2i 
the one is an associated eigenvector. And let's do the same thing for the other eigenvalue. So a minus lambda i, in this case, is a plus, so it's plus 2i. And we solve the system of linear equations. And we get an eigenvector. So v equals to negative 2i1 is an associated eigenvector. So in this case, we have two eigenvalues. One is 2i, the other one is negative 2i, which are conjugates of each other. And you notice that their, eigen, their corresponding eigenvectors are also conjugates of each other. So for 2i, the eigenvector is 2i and 1. And for negative 2i, the eigenvector is negative 2i and 1. All right, so let's summarize for two by two matrices. So we have seen all the cases for two by two matrices. We could have two distinct eigenvalues and each corresponding to a distinct eigenvector. Or we can have one one eigenvalue corresponding to two eigenvectors as a basis. Or we can have one eigenvalue only corresponding to one eigenvector. There's no fifth case, by the way. And the last case is two complex eigenvalues, which are conjugates of each other. And they each corresponding to also conjugate eigenvectors. So for a two by two matrix, one of these four things will happen. And we'll do a three by three case in the next video.